Hello and welcome to Teacher of Laws channel. In this video, I'm going to work on exercise 6.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this exercise is about cubes, open cubes, and drawing 3D shapes. Solving the questions of this exercise was requested by one of the followers. So I decided to solve questions 1 to 8 of this exercise so that it can help solve the problems of the learner. To start with question one, we can see that question one has got two parts, part A and part B. Part A says, how many faces does a cube have? To show how many faces a cube have, I will draw a cube here. You know that the faces of a cube are all squares. So we can easily draw the cube in this way. We can connect the corners. Our cube is made. As you can see, this cube has got six faces one face down here one up here and one here one here and one face is over here and the other one is behind there so it has got six faces part b says describe the shape of the faces of a cube as you can see the cube drawn here each face is a square we can say all faces all faces are the same all faces are the same and they are and they are square and they are square shaped and the shape of the faces of a cube is square this is how we can describe the faces of a cube in question two, it says, what 3D shape will this net make? And you know that net is a 2D drawing of a 3D shape that can be folded together and give us the 3D shape. Now we can see that this net is having five squares. One, two, three, four, five. If we fold it, it gives us an open cube. So I can write here, this is an open cube open cube for which one of the faces that completes the cube is missing so this is an open cube or we can say the net of an open cube well in question three it says which of these nets will not make an open cube one of the things that we know about the open cube it is having five faces because one of the faces of the cube is missing so this can give us an open cube Part A can give us an open cube. Part B cannot give. Because here it says, which of these nets will not make an open cube? So I will circle the ones which will not give. This will not give an open cube. This will not give an open cube. This will also not give an open cube. And how about this one? This one gives us an open cube. So we can say part B, C, and E will not give as an open cube. Because if we fold it, maybe some of the squares will lie on the other one. Especially the one in part B and part E. If we fold it, it will not give us an open cube. Because the faces may lie on each other. But part A and part D gives us open cube. Well, question 4 says, draw a net of a cube. And it says, trace this square to use a template for each face of the cube. We have a square here, but I don't have the tracing paper and also I cannot trace here on a screen recording. So you can use this square which is given here and using a tracing paper to trace and make the net of an open cube. But I can make the net of an open cube and draw it here. Maybe it will not be the same size as the one given here, but still it can give the net of an open cube. We know that the open cube has got five squares so let me draw it one two three and one more four squares here and the other one can be anywhere i will draw it here now this is the net of an open cube if we remove this one from here, if we remove it from here, 
we can draw it we can draw it here this can also be the net of an open cube because when we fold it it gives us an open cube so i hope it makes sense for you and it can help you draw the net of an open cube because the question is asking for the net of an open cube well let's scroll down to go to the next question in question 5 it says this diagram shows what sophia can see when she looks at two different 3d shapes we have the blue one and the red one we have a tip also over here the tip says think about what parts of a 3d shape you can see and what parts you cannot see because we can see a circular shape for each of these two 3d shapes we can say that these two 3d shapes can be a cone and also can be a cylinder a cylinder how now we read part a b and c it says what two shapes could they be i said that it can be a cone and it can be a cylinder and it says explain how you know they could be those shapes how i know if we have a cylinder you know that cylinder is having circular faces at two ends of it at two ends of it if it is just put horizontally we can only see the circular face of it in the same way if we have a cone a cone is also having a circular face and if it's just put horizontally we can only see the circular face of it that's why i can say that this is that's why i can say that this can possibly be a cone and a slender and in part c it says is sketch each of these shapes in different orientations and label each shape with its name okay let me first draw the slender i will now put it horizontally so that we can see it along its length well this is the cone sorry this is the cylinder i can label the name also the cylinder and the other one that i can draw is the cone this is the cone let me write its name also this is how we can sketch it in different orientation this one i put it vertically and this one i just put horizontally so that you can see how it looks when we look from different directions of it well Let's scroll down and move to question 6. In question 6 it says, find a triangular prism, put the triangular prism on a flat surface and look at it from one position. Draw the triangular prism from your own position. So because I cannot show the triangular prism here that I have put in front of me, I can look at the triangular prism and draw it for you here. If I draw it here, it can be like this. It can be like this. However, because the triangular prism is a solid, a solid shape, you cannot see this triangle here. You cannot see this rectangle here. And you cannot see this rectangle here also. Now, there are some follow-up questions. Part A says, how many triangles can be seen in your picture? How many triangles can be seen in your picture? As I say it, because this triangular prism is a solid shape, I can see only this triangle. Only this triangle. So in this case, I can write one triangle. One triangle. But it depends how you put the triangular prism. Because in this position that I have put, I can see only one triangle. And in part B it says, how many rectangles can you see in your picture? Or how many rectangles can be seen in your picture? As I said, because this triangular prism is a solid shape, I can see only one rectangle. Only one rectangle. So I will write here, one rectangle okay one rectangle but if you put it in a different direction or in a different position maybe you can see two rectangles or maybe you cannot even see any of the rectangles 
if it is drawn in this way. Let me draw it this way. Okay, it is not it cannot be seen properly. But if we put the triangular prism in this direction, we can see only the triangle. We cannot even see the rectangle. Although it's visible that I have drawn here because it's a bit up, but if it is an actual triangular prism, you can only see the triangle here, not any of the other rectangles or the other triangle. Well, I hope it can answer your question here. Let's go to question seven and let me erase this part here. Well, in question seven, it says, draw these models on an isometric paper. So we can see that we have one to two cubes, two rectangular prism, and also two, one cuboid, one cuboid. So I have already put an isometric paper here so that I can be able to draw them one by one. Let me move a bit this side. Well, let me first draw the cube. I will draw the cube here. This is an isometric paper to draw the cube you can start from this point here. You can first draw the lines this way, then connect them here, and this one also here, and finally this. Now we have already drawn our cube here. And the next one in part B, we have two cubes that are joined together. Let me draw them. I will start drawing here. So the same way I follow the pattern. Well, here, here and also here in this one again I can draw it here so I can complete in this way this is the second one which is part B let me label them also part A part B and in part C we have a cuboid let me draw the cuboid here I will start from this point let me start a bit to the right okay here starting from this first point drawing it in this way well oh sorry not this line i have to go here and draw this way again i have to follow the same pattern here and this one here it is very easy using the isometric paper it's already drawn now you can start from the bottom line, from the bottom point here, then draw them one by one and continue until you complete it. Continue until you complete it. Well, let me label this one also. This one is part C and we have part D also in which we have four cubes put one on top of the other, which gives us a rectangular prism. Let me start from here starting from this point okay and the same way we continue so one two three four we have four two are drawn i have to draw two more of them this is very easy using the isometric paper so one two three four Let's close the top one. This is already a rectangular prism which is made of four cubes put on top of each other. So isometric paper is an easy way to be able to draw 3D shapes. And the last one is also a cube which is made of eight other cubes. Made of eight other cubes. Let me draw it here. It's starting from this bottom point. Okay. This is the first one in the same way here. Let me continue. Well, the second one. Let me complete this one here, this one here, and also here. As we connect them, we can make the cube in here also and we have to connect this line also here we have already made the cube which is made of eight small cubes 
so this one was d and this one is also e we are done drawing all the five cubes and cubites using isometric paper let me make this one also a bit proper oh sorry the lines should be straight and to the point well we are done with this question let's just scroll down to move to the next question we have question eight here in question eight it says make cubite b c or d shown in question seven cubes turn the cubite so that it sits on a different face sits on a different face draw the cubite in its new position on isometric paper let's assume that i have taken the part d1 let's assume that i have taken the cubite in part d and draw it in a horizontal direction so starting from this point starting from this point i will draw it like this it may be looking a bit different because the isometric paper is a bit stretched well we continue going on until we make all four of them okay done so we assume that i have put this cuboid in part d in a horizontal direction but here it is asking you to make you have to make using small cubes maybe from paper from anything you can make this one or maybe this one or maybe the one in part e and put it in a different direction then draw it using the isometric paper i'm sure you will be given some papers from the school so that you can be able to draw them using that isometric paper so with question eight we are done with all questions of exercise six one of cambridge primary mathematics learners book five and i hope the person who asked for the solution of these questions can get the answer to all the given questions please make sure to subscribe to my channel like the videos and share the videos with your friends your classmates and your students if you're a teacher have a nice time and thank you so much